Hey guys, welcome to SS Unit App, Susan Decide. And today we are going to see about the pipeline dependency. So, what is the pipeline dependency and where we can use this in the real time environment? So, first you have to understand the pipeline dependency. So, pipeline dependencies are mainly four types. So, first is the success, second is the failure, third is the completion, fourth is the skip. So, these four types of the dependencies are available inside the pipeline. So as we can see in this below diagram, so here like the task A, if this is executed successfully, then we want to execute the task C. And if task C is not executed, then we want to execute the task F. Similarly, once task A is completed, then immediately task E will start execution. And if task A is completed with the failure, then task D will be start executing. So you have to understand the completion of the task A, the task E will be executed. Either it will be completed with the success or failure. So always task E will be executing. So this is the first case. In the second case, if task A got fit, on that case task D will be executed and task F will be executed. And if your task A is executed with success, then only task C will be executed. So let's understand this in the real time. So go to on the browser and we'll try to see there. So here, let me try to create a new pipeline. Let me call this pipeline as pipeline dependency. Now, so here first, I want to use the if condition. So as we have already seen the if condition in the previous videos. So if you haven't watched that video, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward. So inside the activity, I am not going to do anything. I am just going to write this as true. So it will be always true and will be executing this. That's it. So let me try to drag and drop three if condition. And here let me put true in all these so like this is true similarly for this one and similarly for this one here here we can see this plus symbol and this arrow so once we click on this then we can see the pipeline dependency options so success failure completion and skipped so success is always here so let me add the failure as well add the completion so if this will be completed with success then we want to execute the if condition 2 similarly if this is fail then we want to execute the if condition 3 and once everything is completed then we want to execute the if condition 4 so this is the condition i have added here now in this case, we have not set up for the skipped one. So let me try to drag and drop one more if condition. And this if condition will be added from this if condition 3. So let me click on this plus symbol and add the skipped one. And put it here. Like this. So now we have set all these. And in the last one, let me put the expression as true because we have not said anything here now what will be happening in this case your first if condition will be executed with success so this will be executed and after that your condition 2 will be executed and condition if will be executed so let me try to debug and we'll see so as we can see it is executed so as per the condition your if condition 1 is executed with success so that's why if condition 2 is executed similarly for the if condition 4 once if condition 1 is completed either with the success or failure it will be executed so that is executed if your condition 3 is not executed then your condition 5 will be executed that you can see here now let me try to add a custom error here so that error might be 1 equals to 1 so it will be reflecting an error so let me try to debug it now 
so your first if condition will be fail so as we can see it is fail so your fail one will be executed so that we can see if condition 3 is executed and if condition 4 is executed because your if condition 1 is executed with the failure as I told you either it is executed with success or failure so if condition 4 will always execute it and here we can see the if condition 5 is not executed because if condition 3 is executed here so that's why 5 is not executed so this is all about the pipeline dependency so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. See you in the next video.